Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all, your Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make space for your vocal with one trick. And I really mean this, no fluff, one trick I'm gonna show you on a, a, a way that you can approach your lead vocal or vocals in general, and how to carve out some space in your actual instruments and stuff like that to create space and room for your vocal. Let's get right to it. Okay. So first things first is uh, we're gonna take a look at this. Now, I'm gonna play you a little bit of the song so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Listen closely. Girl, I fuck with you. You gon' fuck with me. We don't just fucking leave. Girl, it's hitting different. Oh, I swear to God, I fuck with you. I know you fuck with me. I know sometimes that pride just gets in the way. Let's not play with it. So this is one of my own songs called I F With You. Uh, it's not out yet. I don't know if it'll ever come out, but uh, long story short, you hear that. So the main thing in this particular song is the lead vocal and the guitar. Those are the two things that we're trying or basically that we've accomplished some type of space for the relationship between the guitar and the vocal. So since the guitar is the main leading um, uh, instrument in the entire thing, let's just listen to the guitar by itself right quick. Listen close. <laughs> Cool, so you hear the guitar, it's a big sound. It's not something that's subtle in, in the back, it's a bigger sound. So, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna play it for you without my effect as far as the one trick that I used, and then I'll play it for you with the trick. I'll bypass it back and forth. Listen very closely to the relationship between the vocal and the guitar. I'm gonna bypass my effect back and forth so you can get an idea of what just happened as far as in the actual music. Okay, it's very subtle, but if you listen closely, you will hear this without first. Fuck with you, you gon' fuck with me. We don't just fucking leave. Girl, it's hitting different. Oh, I swear to God, I fuck with you. I know you fuck with me. I know sometimes that pride just gets in the way. But let's not play with it. Cause I'ma be good to you. Okay, now if you're listening closely, if you listen on headphones, if you listen on speakers, or anything that you can really hear detail, you'll notice one thing. When this song is, when the effect, excuse me, when the, when the trick that I'm telling you about is bypassed, the vocal sounds a little bit more cloudy. It feels a little bit more covered. It feels a little bit more like it's up, up fighting to, to really stand out. There is some frequency masking going on. There are some competition issues that's going on because that guitar and that vocal live in a very similar vocal range. Now, there's a ton of different techniques that you can use to fix this, to combat that, to make it feel better. You notice that when I had it engaged, the trick, you felt like the vocal just felt heavier. The frequencies uh, uh, in the upper mids started to feel a little stronger. It just felt like, oh, guitar, you're here and the vocal's here. How do we create this separation with one trick? How do we create this space and how do we do this so that we can pretty much go about approaching all of our mixes? Now, before we go any further, I'll ask you guys to comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you visit helpmedevon.info at any time uh, to get some of our templates, vocal chains, presets, like this one that I use in the song. I use the Devon Terrell signature template, which is in the description below. I'll make sure it's there. Visit that at any time. Now back to the tutorial. Okay, so the trick that I'm using is something called mid-side EQ. Now, I'm sure, a, or I don't wanna assume that everyone has heard of mid-side EQ or what that means for uh, any reason. So let me just explain it to you like this. When it comes to your normal EQ, you're probably using a stereo EQ, meaning it affects the left channel just like it affects the right channel. So if I carve out or say, hey, I'm gonna cut some 3K out of this particular sound, you cut 3K, in the left and the right, it's stereo. When it comes to mid side, you are differentiating the middle and the side information. So it's a stereo trick. Basically, you have middle information, which is like vocals, kicks, snares, that type of stuff, and then you have side information. You do have a little bit of vocal over there. You do have synths and pads and all the other stuff is more of the sides. Now, what you're trying to do is, you're trying to think about it like this. Your vocal, main focal thing, in the middle of your mix. And you say, guitar, also in the middle of my mix. But at the same time, there is a lot of side information. So what, do you, what can you do to combat this, and what does this all mean? Check this out. 
What I like to do is, when I find two frequencies or two sounds really competing for each other, I like to use a midside EQ. I like to come right on over here, and I'm using the Fab Filter Pro Q. There are a ton of midside EQs. Do not get stressed out just for seeing this one. And what I like to do is, I put this particular band in mid mode, which means, hey, the what I want to affect is the middle information. That's the stereo placement of this particular EQ. I'm saying, hey, this band right here, I want it to be in mid mode, meaning only affect the middle information of this guitar. Let me solo this. And now that it's only affecting the middle information of the guitar, I chose to say, hey, I want you to in this vocal range, which is the 2000 kilohertz range, I want, excuse me, 2000 hertz range, what I'm really big on and why I'm picking that range is because that is the main frequency range of our vocals, of our speaking. That's the most prevalent frequencies in our voice as far as the loudest, as far as we really hear the bane and the bulk of the vocals. So I say to myself, hey, guitar, I'm going to cut a little bit of you out in the middle information just so I can have more space for that vocal so that you guys can live. I'm not messing with my side information. Two kilohertz is still going to exist in my side information. But when it comes to the vocal, I really need that middle to really have a precedent um, when it comes to the vocal in that two kilohertz range. So do you see my ideology? Do you see why I do it like this? So now I'm taking, I took out about 2.3 dB in the two kilohertz range. Let's listen to the guitar by itself. Let's bypass it one time. If you listen to that closely, you notice that some of that upfrontness of the guitar got pulled back, but it still felt nice, it still felt light, and it still felt fun and interesting. What you have to realize is, this is why it's important not to mix in solo with your instruments. When you say to yourself, well, it sounds good solo, but that's not what you're doing. That's not what people are listening to. People are not listening to the guitar in solo. They listen to it in its totality. So what you do is you make room and cut things for other things. And you try to make spaces and carve out different places for vocals, for pianos. Hey, you'll live here. You'll live here. And it gives you a better spectrum of the music. And it helps with just making uh, things more clear. It really helps with clarity. So that's what I basically did with my guitar. I went on over to here, this right here, and I pulled some of that back. Now what I'll do is I'll solo my lead vocal as well as the guitar. So you can just hear that relationship a little bit. And I'll bypass the mid-side EQ back and forth to give you an idea of what it sounds like. So without first, and I'll bypass it back and forth. Listen closely. Fuck with you, you gon' fuck with me We don't just fucking leave, girl it's hitting different Oh I swear to God I fuck with you, I know you fuck with me I know sometimes that pride just gets in the way But let's not play with it, cause I'ma be good to ya Talking shit, show my whole hood to ya Know these other niggas So when you listen to that, you can hear it, you can feel this this um, relationship to get, just gets so much better when we pull back on the mid information at the two kilohertz range of the guitar, thus giving us more room for the vocal to cut through and breathe in our mix. If you're having an instrument compete with your vocal, give this technique a try. Try getting a mid-side EQ using the mid um, option and basically carving out a little bit of that two kilohertz range, thus giving you more space for the lead vocal or vocals in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you also visit helpmedevon.info at any time to get some of our templates, vocal chains, presets to help keep this kit channel going. Um, like I said, for this particular vocal, I use the Devon Terrell signature template. I'll put it right in the description below. Don't worry about it. And also make sure you come to and visit us at Help Me Devon on the Instagram and also join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring engineers, producers, and artists like yourself trading game. That'll be in the description below. So if you guys want to see something else or whatever you want to see next, please let me know in the comments below. Please comment below in general just to let me know how you felt about the tutorial. And um, until next time, you guys.